the graph is an indexing and query protocol for blockchains and storage networks. We index data from these different Web3 data sources and make it available over GraphQL. Um, so the very first thing that we set out to do was to basically build a standardized way of doing this indexing. So you know, we, we've already kind of talked about how most of the projects in the space have done their own custom proprietary indexing servers. And you know, the first step towards you know, being able to kind of introduce this indexing layer in the stack is to basically come up with a, a standardized way of doing that indexing. Uh, so we launched our standalone graph node July of last year um, and open sourced it. And basically that defined the developer APIs for building what we call a subgraph. And a subgraph basically defines how to do this indexing work in a way that can eventually run on a decentralized network. And essentially what you do is you define, um, here are the data sources that I want to listen to. Uh, here's a mapping script. So it's a Turing complete language, um, you know, or way that you can transform that data at ingestion time. And uh, here's the GraphQL schema for how I want to be able to query that data. And with that subgraph definition, um, you now have a, a standardized way of indexing that data and making it available over GraphQL. It, eventually, the goal is to um, combine all of these graph nodes together into a global decentralized network. Um, so any graph node itself can choose which subgraphs it wants to index. Um, and uh, what we want to do is actually open this up to a global marketplace and, and use market forces to uh, do the resource allocation for which nodes are indexing what data. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,